Well, I'm telling you this whole story, just imagine what it's like when you come there in the morning and you've caught a, year, a yearling uh, instead of the mom, and the mom's running around, right? It's quite exciting. Uh, and, you know, you've put out a trap, you caught a little yearling in there, what are you going to do, go home? There's a little snare around a tree, uh, and it goes through a wire, and it's hooked onto a little spring, and we try to get the bear to put his foot right there. If he can't put his foot right exactly there, uh, we're not going to catch him. And a little spring catches him. And uh, uh, inside there is a piece of elk uh, roadkill or something, big hunk of meat that's completely irresistible. And this was like you come in the morning, you got a, a, a bear who's uh, a little excited, like to get their hands on you. And you don't see his other foot because you catch him in the front foot, and uh, he's caught there. We'll come up, if you can see close, there's a mom right there, and there's a little cub sitting there. There's me kind of trying to survey the situation, trying to decide what to do. And uh, at any rate, uh, the little cub was quite a bit of fun. It's just a, uh, she, she's just sitting there mellow, like, okay, oh, whatever, what did I do wrong? Uh, and, uh, you know, we hit her with a little dart. Uh, you know, it's a little drug. It's kind of a, the drug of choice I hear for a lot of species. But uh, it does put these guys to sleep. And... Uh, very gently, so they go down, and because uh, I had, you know, you touch their eyelid to see if they're actually asleep. You know, they're really down, and and they were. So, at any rate, we treat our bears pretty good. We use, uh, I don't take uh, trapping bears lightly. I do it for hardcore conservation, and the uh, we've got we put bottled oxygen on them. We take really good care of them. It's about like being in the hospital. We got a pulse oximeter, and we keep tabs on everything. And so we we treat them pretty seriously. Uh, we don't want bears uh, dying on our watch. And we put a, a, a necklace on. That it's a satellite collar. It gives us a, a location where the bear goes every hour for two or three years. It's quite nice. And you know, if you guys want one for your teenagers, you know, we sell some. <laughs> but anyway, it's a nice scene. Everything went good. That bear gave us radio collar data for a couple of years. That's, that's how it works.